you have entered the Chronics rabbit hole. And Michael C., thank you so much for your Patreon membership requests and for bringing something new down the rabbit hole by the name of Symphony X and the song by them today is Domination. You thought we have heard this song before, but upon further research, I don't see it on the channel. So this is a first time reaction and a first time reaction to the band itself. So I'm very excited for this and I'm looking forward to the write up you have for us, Michael, after the woo woo. Michael, thank you so much for bringing this band to me. I've always actually heard of Symphony X. I just haven't had the time or picked them yet to actually listen to, but you picked them. We are here today, so let's see what we're about to get into. So, your introduction to them was with the album Paradise Lost, which is a concept album covering the 17th century epic poem of the same name by John Milton. Paradise Lost and Dante's Inferno are really, really good books. Um, so that's really cool that they have an actual um, album, concept album for Paradise Lost. Wow. Paradise Lost is a strong is as strong a reference point for Christian mythology as the Bible and the divine comedy of Dante Alighieri, best known for the first installment, Inferno. Like we just mentioned. There you go, Michael. We're on the same wavelength. Paradise Lost describes the uprising against God conducted by Lucifer and his followers, their subsequent defeat and banishment, and their takeover of the world as Lucifer's domain, where mankind can be turned to sin as he plots his revenge. The song is I'm requesting is from the album, is from this album, and is called Domination. It is about Lucifer taking dominion over the world. And wow, I've definitely heard that story, and I am with you. A lot of the mythology of Christianity and the way that we view it, and especially visually, um, definitely has come from Dante's trilogy and from Paradise Lost. I am definitely with you there, because if you read the Bible and those together, it's not necessarily the same thing. But beautiful art, and regardless, Symphony X is here with Paradise Lost, and I'm very excited for this. First of all, this album art looks incredible. Um, look at all the AI alien angel technology that you can see here. Um, looks stunning. Uh, what a cool way to start your journey with Symphony X, having an incredible concept with Paradise Lost, and this is Domination. Thank you for the lyric version of this, too. Oh, what? That bass! Oh! I didn't expect that. Oh, what? Yes. What a bass intro and a guitar line on this. Oh my god, come on. Yes. Oh shit, Symphony X, here we go. What is this? <laughs> this is like a heavier dream theater. I am fucking loving it. Almost like a Pantera type of a feel to him too, eh? Oh, 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 Ranger Pantera mix. Almost like a Dio voice too. Ooh. Oh 
shit, this is incredible. And for me, you need to hook me off right off the bat if you want me to return back to a song. Um, and that bass intro is so unique and so intricate. I loved it. But then the guitar that has been going this whole time has really been reminding me of John Perdutri and, and uh, Dream Theater here. So to have that incredible technicality that's going to come in with this, but then it has that meaner feel um, and that grittiness to it as well and that thrashiness to it. So you have that kind of pan Pantera type of thrash metal vibe to it as well. So it has that kind of oomph to it. So it's um, it's a lot, but in the best way. And the I love the lyrics too. It's visually stunning. Um, it even reminds you of like, almost like the Matrix, how the world ends in the Matrix almost. Um, it's beautiful. <laughs> Incredible voice. Are you kidding me? the effect in Miami. Oh! What? Oh my god, this is sick! It feels like domination right now. They're coming. But it's never ending. Oh, beautiful transition! Wow. What do you pause it? Oh man, he just wants this to keep going on. Oh my god, this is incredible. Oh my god, I love this. Um I wish I heard this earlier in my life. I'm not going to lie, but I'm happy y'all get to see this with me because this is like, this is perfect. Like I've always said, I need a dream theater. That's a little heavier and symphony X was what people were telling me. I just didn't do it. And Michael, thank you. Cause this is a perfect pick too, because it, it has everything I love now as well, where before I only needed music, but now I kind of, I don't need it, but I love having the extra story and like something behind it. I love concept albums as well knowing how well this will transition into another song that's just going to be a part of the actual thread of the of the story too so and i love paradise law so that really does help enhance it and then these visuals are just stunning right so wow but those guitar solos holy crap that was impeccable 
And then they had this weird kind of techno funky moment that got blended into how they ended after the solo and now into the singing part to finish here with even more ferocity as it comes to finish with a knockout punch. It sounds like... Lucifer has taken over, it sure looks like it. Defile the Babylon Horde. symphony x um i want to know more about them that was just incredible if they have anything on them here let's quickly see it doesn't look like it how are more people not looking at this band at least this video i thought that was a great pick um what was incredible for me is when you get used to a certain style of with progressive metal um you're not used to having like other than opeth that's a band that kind of has helped me have a harder um dream theater but the thing about opeth is Mikael. um even he would say he's not gonna go play with john and go and rock with them because he doesn't want to feel bad um and that's just to say that maybe he's not the craziest thrasher and shredder you know but he still makes some of the best music ever right um, but Symphony X looks like they're a band that literally could play with Dream Theater for fun. And that's um, that's pushing the envelope for, for me. Like, that's what I love about bands like that is, sure, you could play on the easy difficulty, but when you're casual as Hall of Fame mode, that is what makes you feel good. And that's what bands at that caliber, because they put in so much time, they have to play it at that caliber. But then what's cool about symphony X is there's that grit to it, but then there's the storytelling on top of it with the concept album. Um, and that's obviously bands like dream theater do that too, but I wasn't expecting symphony X to do that. I really didn't know where to put them to. I thought they would be more fantasy based and um, sound a bit, I didn't think they go so hard, you know, so they hit way harder than they thought they would, which is incredible. Um, I, I don't even know where they're from. Like, that's what I, we really got to figure this out right now. Cause they are this, they're um, meaning a lot to me here. The symphony X is a band, the progressive metal, and they are from America. See, I would never have guessed that they were literally from New Jersey. and But that also now makes sense because you could see I was um, saying how much thrash and Southern influence they had. And when I mean Southern, that's Southern America and um, the Pantera type of a vibe. So that's really cool to know they're from Jersey, actually, um, which is incredible. That's another amazing American band that I'm definitely going to go into. For some reason, I thought they were going to be like Japanese or something. Maybe it was just because of Japan X. I like had those two mixed for some reason. But anyways, this was a very good pick. Thank you so much, Michael, for this. You know exactly what I like. And this is everything I like in a song pick. So if you all had a good time with me, Chronic Kids, please hit that like button on your way out. But we are now exiting the rabbit hole, folks. Peace and love. God bless y'all.